Hello everybody, this is Zoe from No Safer Place and last week I started a series called the Stay Smiling series. I think we need to have reasons to keep smiling at the moment, especially with the current crisis of the world. And last week I did some song requests and this week I thought I would show you how I make my bracelets. So I'm not sure if you're aware, but I run a small bracelet company called Wildest Dreams Jewelry. It is fairly new, but I absolutely love doing it. And I thought at the moment with the time that everyone has on their hands, especially little hands, I thought this might be a good thing for some of you to do to pass the time. Obviously it doesn't have to be as serious as I make it. I'm gonna show you the ones that I'm making that people have ordered. So obviously I'll be being really careful, but you can make this as fun and as lighthearted as you want it to be. So the first thing that I use to cut out bracelets once I've printed them is this. I did actually film me cutting the bits of paper down and making them into backing cards, so you'll probably see that included now. And just to quickly talk about how I print them, I just use 230 GSM card. I use a printer, it's a pretty high tech printer, but it's very easy to use. And I just use an editing software online, which is called Photo Filter. It was actually free. It's much like Photoshop, just a much simpler version. And obviously it's free, so it's much easier to use. So that's how I designed them all. I then cut them out using what I just showed you, the little guillotine. This guillotine was actually like 6 dollars from Curry's, I think, so it was very reasonable. I did buy a bigger one from Hobbycraft, which was £10, but I really didn't get on with it, so I've stuck to using my little one. So I've cut them out, and then I'm just left with little bits of card like this. This is what our Heather's one looks like. And what we're aiming for is for it to look like this. This is our 6 one. I'm going to do this on camera, and usually I get so annoyed making these because... I am not very good at tying them, it takes me a long time. So if you're good at knotting, you'll be away with this, you'll be amazing at it. But me, not so much, it takes me a few attempts, so let's get going. This is my box of goodies. Everything in here is what I use to make the bracelets. Let's have a look. So I have my stickers which go on the back. This is actually my last sheet, so I need to order some more of these. We've got the cellophane bags, envelopes, business cards, cord lots of cord and the charms i feel like this was three or four pound from amazon and it just stores all the charms in and looks like that i thought that was really good value for money so today i'm making a heather's one which needs a mallet charm and two six ones so i need two crowns that was four what i do is i measure out the string i use nine inches i think that's a good length for the bracelet to start off with so we need them white so i just measure out nine inches cut it off and that's the string. I then loop the charm on. They're really easy to get through. And now the knot. I am not an expert at knots. I had to watch quite a few videos to even get the simplest knot right. So I would highly, highly recommend not watching me do it to learn simple knots because I'm terrible. So then once it's done, I just slip it onto the card and move the charm to the centre and we have a Heather's bracelet. That is literally how simple it is. I mean, it probably sounds simple because I'm super used to doing it, but I mean, if you didn't have elastic cord, you could use anything, thread, and if you didn't have charms, I mean, most parents have beads or hammer beads, something like that laying around that you can thread onto it. Also the backing cards, you don't need to print them. You could also just design them yourself with your child, just cut out a small bit of card or paper and just let their imagination run wild. And then I put mine in little cellophane bags because I think it makes them look really lovely. Pop it in, 
make sure it's lined up and neat fold it over like that so now we have a bracelet that's looking a little bit like this and now i just get a sticker and pop it on the back here and that is one bracelet done i think the most time consuming thing when you're making bracelets is the design so designing them and finding out what works well what looks good that is the most time consuming part of it all let's make these two other six ones this purple string it's not my friend it is not my friend i had to make eight of these yesterday with this purple string and it was awful you just seem to not be able to do as much with it which is very annoying so i've cut my two bits of string read it through the hole someone asked me the other day why bracelets and i have to say i'm a real sucker for bracelets i just love the way that they look i have to admit the ones that i've made i don't necessarily use for anything i just think they look good on display like for example this six one is probably my favorite one and it's definitely a bestseller i'm making about five to ten of these every few days at the moment that one was surprisingly easy if you could have seen me yesterday you would not believe that that was the same person doing this another one down i also had a sabrina one bought but i've already made that one that was already prepared but i absolutely adore this one this is another one that has sold really well i only started this business in january so it hasn't even been very long and obviously with everything that's going on at the moment it wasn't the best time to start a business because just as i started to settle in with them and build a customer base everything kind of went downhill so yeah it's definitely a scary time for small businesses out there i hope everyone's staying safe out there as well it's really terrifying at the moment you feel like every time you leave your house you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and that is kind of what it feels like went to a and e last night and i honestly felt like rick grimes in the walking dead when he wakes up in hospital and there's literally no one around him that is what i felt like so yeah if you didn't know i am a bit of a workaholic so i was in hospital on sunday night it is now tuesday morning and here i am making bracelets i'm, I'm actually doped up on morphine codeine and paracetamol and yeah it's been a rough few days but i love working working keeps my mind going i love to be creative and that's why i thought i would make this video to see if any of you guys can be creative too i'd love to see any designs that you make yeah, the bracelets are made now i've made three of them that's how quickly it is to make three bracelets i think they look pretty good that is what they look like and then i just pop them in one of these bags with my business card with a little handwritten message on the back because i think that gives it a lovely touch that is literally how easy it is and i'd love to see any bracelets you make especially using your imagination because i doubt many people have charms and elastic cord laying around so i would love love to see some of them if you manage to do it i remember making necklaces out of pasta when i was growing up so i feel like this is just more of an advanced version of that <laughs> I've actually had a few requests for this video to see how things are done and when I did a behind the scenes of my book box I know that went down really well with you guys so I hope you like this video too. I hope this little bit of positivity has made you smile. It was a lot of fun for me to show you how I do things. Maybe next time I can show you how I design bracelets and what that looks like, how long it takes because that usually takes me a good hour to have like a really good design for a bracelet. So as I say I hope you enjoyed this. If you make your own please send me them. I'm Zoe Collins1994 on Instagram and ZCollins1994 on Twitter, or you can just leave links in the comments below. And remember, stay smiling. I know it's hard at the moment, but we have to keep being positive and just remaining hopeful. If there's anything else you'd like to see in this series, let me know. I really enjoyed the singing one, that made me happy as well as hopefully a few of you. Just as well, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that usual good stuff. 
Also, you can turn the notification bell on to be notified when I upload new videos, which is usually every Tuesday and every Saturday. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see more of on my channel, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.